technology sector is one of the unfriendliest places to work for women. My name is Beata Chalette. I'm the founder and the creator of the Women's Code. I work with organizations that want to bring equality to their leadership by implementing programs that will help them to balance male and female. And of course, we always include men because men are still the decision makers, so we have to make sure that they are happy as well. So technology is a difficult environment. I mean, it is high stress. There are a lot of um, you know, new technologies that are constantly being developed. It's a fast-paced environment. It's very demanding. So there's been a study where there were 12,500 people asked on whether or not they find their work environment toxic or not. And 52% said, yes, tech is toxic. So this particular study actually called out the worst companies out there. Intel is the, uh, the winner with 49% of the employees saying that their environment, work environment is not healthy. Amazon, Amazon and eBay are following uh, heel to heel with 46 and respectively 44%. And the companies with the lowest percentage of employees that think that their work environment are toxic are Google and Uber. Who would have thought Uber a big surprise here? It is in technology, from what I have learned, a really systematic, systemic problem that comes inherent because technology has the most number of men. And when men are amongst other men, team intelligence goes down, emotional intelligence goes down, innovation goes down, creativity goes down, because it's just being done sort of the same, same way. You just apply the same formula again and again, and you get the same thing out. So how are we going to be addressing these issues in technology. So my personal experience with this is somewhat like this. I find that whenever I have a, a, a topic that comes and that talks about equality, men in technology, men in STEM, especially engineers, are the worst. They are outspoken, they're negative, they're demeaning, they're misogynistic. They are, and I do not say this lightly, the largest number of that I encounter when it comes to just absolutely hating on women. Let me put this in perspective for you. I do understand that in STEM, because of the larger number of, of graduates and doctorates that are given to men, the number of women are much, much lower. So in order to change these numbers, we have to, char we have to change this you know, systemically at the bottom by doing some of these programs that Microsoft or others, other great companies are involved in, like Salesforce, where they sponsor you know, girls in technology, and really trying to get these numbers up and getting more young women interested in this early on. But if we do look at the studies, and the studies, it's not one study, it's not my study, it is studies after studies after studies after studies, and they all say the same thing. Women are good for business. Women help you to have more innovation, creativity, higher employee engagement, and as a result, better numbers. If you don't want that for your company, go ahead and remain stagnant. Use the same formula, you're going to get the same results. But the companies that understand on how to bring women in, especially in technology, will perform better. Mark my Words. This is Beata Chalet. Thank you so much for watching.